Hi friends, my name is Sunil Kumar and welcome to this channel. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to move ERC20 tokens to your Treasure Model T or Treasure 1. If you have a Treasure Hardware Wallet and you would like to store ERC20 tokens in your Hardware Wallet, then in this video, I am going to show you how you can store ERC20 tokens in your Hardware Wallet. Storing ERC20 tokens in Treasure Wallets is somewhat tricky but it is not difficult when i would tell you the process then you would find that it was super easy to store erc20 tokens in treasure wallet and also i would like to tell you that in the coming months storing erc20 tokens in treasure wallet will be more easy because treasure team is working hard to upgrade their app and once it is upgraded all the ERC20 tokens would be accessible directly from the app. As of now, you have to follow this process. Once the app is updated, you would not need to follow this video. Till then, you can follow the instructions given in this video. Once the app is updated, all the ERC20 tokens are directly accessible from the app from Treasure Suite app then you would not need to follow the steps given in this video. In that case, you can simply like on this dashboard, you can see uh, I have installed Ethereum. Just like that in future, I, I am expecting that they would add all ERC20 tokens in their app. Like in BC Wallet review, I told you all the spotted coins are directly accessible from the app. I think Treasure team also working to do the same. In future, Treasure team would also make it possible and they will help you access all the coins directly from the app. As of now, you can follow the steps given in this video to store ERC20 tokens in your hardware wallet. And for your information, whether you have Treasure Model T or Treasure 1, the steps are same. So both hardware wallet owners can follow the steps given in this video. So let's get started. First of all, get access to your Suite app. In my recent video, I told you how to set up Treasure Suite app. If you have not set up the app, you can watch that video and after that you can come back to this video. If you already have installed the Treasure Suite app, then just open the app and go to your Ethereum app. Just in case you have not installed Ethereum, just click on this plus icon and click on ERC. Uh, Ethereum app and just add an account. After adding the account, you will find Ethereum here like I, I am seeing Ethereum here. Just click here and this app will open. I mean your Ethereum wallet address will open. Here you can click on tokens and you can see no tokens yet because we have not stored any token in our hardware, uh, in our hardware wallet as of now. Okay, sorry, there were some issues with the Wi-Fi, so I have connected my mobile's hotspot to continue the video. So let's come back to the video to store ERC20 tokens to your hardware wallet. First of all, as I told you, add Ethereum account. If it is already added, then you don't need to add another Ethereum address. So after adding the Ethereum address from the sidebar, click on Ethereum. Don't click on Ethereum Classic, click on Ethereum. Okay. Now let this page here. So this was the first step. In second step, what we need to do, we need to go to the place, I mean exchange where we are storing ERC20 tokens. In my case, I am storing my ERC20 token on Binance. So I am going to log into Binance exchange. Whatever your exchange is, the steps are same. And also whatever ERC20 token you would like to store in your Treasure Model 1 or Treasure Model T steps are same. I am going to show you how to store Shiba Inu ERC20 tokens in Treasure Model T or Treasure Model 1. But you can follow the steps to store any ERC20 token. Steps are same. I am repeating steps are same. Although I am showing you Shiba, how to store Shiba Inu 20, ERC20 token, but the steps are same for all ERC20 tokens. All you need to do, just log into your Treasure Suite app and then go to the exchange where you are storing ERC20 tokens. And now let me show you the next steps. In next steps, in my case, I have stored my uh, tokens on 
ERC20 tokens on Binance exchange as you can see this I am login to Binance exchange now what I need to do I am going to uh, need to click on wallets okay after going to the wallets go to sport and here I am going to store Shiba Inu so I am going to move Shiba Inu to treasure model 1 so how I would do that here you can see withdrawal withdrawal option you can see I am going to click on this and first option is send via crypto network so there are two things you need to make sure first you need to copy ethereum address and then when you are sending erc20 tokens from an exchange you need to make sure that you have selected erc20 network make sure you have selected erc20 to uh, network you don't need to select other bnb networks like smart uh, smart chain network or other you make sure you select erc20 network this is very important that is why i am telling you so i am going to click on send via crypto network so now here on in the first field i am being asked to uh, paste the address in which i am going uh, i would like to send the coins uh, shiba inu coins these are erc20 tokens uh, coins so what i need to do from the app i need to click on receive so now what i need to do i need to copy ethereum address yes we need to copy ethereum address to receive erc20 tokens to receive erc20 tokens in treasure wallet all we need to do just copy ethereum address all the ethereum erc20 tokens will be associated this ethereum wallet so let's click on receive now click on show full address on my wallet i am being asked to enter my pin so let me enter my pin first okay on the screen i can see my address with qr code and on my wallet screen as you can see on my wallet screen i can see the same address first of all, all i need to verify this so let me verify yes address is same so now i have two options either i can copy this address showing on the screen or i can scan the qr code since i have opened the mobile app and it would be better to scan the qr code so i am going to open the qr code scanner and i have copied the address and i have i have verified the address is same now here you can see network i need to click on erc20 as you can see to send erc20 tokens the fees gas fees is very high because on ethereum network you pay fees in ethereum not in erc uh, concerned erc20 tokens that is why its fees is very high so i am going to click on confirm or uh, make sure you have selected erc20 tokens this is very important to receive the coins okay i have selected the erc20 tokens now i am going to click on max so you can see to receive the coins fees is too high but for the sake of this video to show you how to receive erc20 tokens i am doing this transaction otherwise i would not be doing this transaction so let's authorize this transaction by clicking on withdrawal okay i have faced another issue actually i need to add more shiba inu coins as you can see minimum withdrawal is okay i need to first i need to buy more shiba inu coins so first wait let me buy some coins okay okay i have bought some shiba inu coins now let's do the transaction again 
what i have done i have going now i am going to open shiba inu account and going to please withdraw request again now what i need to do scan the qr code again and select the network and now click on max okay now i can click on withdrawal so it is asking me to confirm your transaction so i am confirming the transaction to confirm the transaction i am clicking on confirm okay now just accept this and click on confirm okay i have entered the details i mean the otp is they uh, asked for now click on submit and as you can see withdrawal proce is processing i have successfully placed that withdrawal request now all i need to do i need to go back to treasure app and i need to wait okay here it would take up to 30 minutes or more to show the coins here once the coins is showing here i will show you the details so i will start the video once i receive the coins till then we can check that whether we have received the coins or not let's go to ethereum and let's go to tokens no as of now we have not received the coins so let's wait okay here you can see i have received the coins here you can see receiving shiba inu and here we can click on click here and here we can see the details okay as you can see we have successfully received the erc20 token this is the steps to store erc20 tokens in your treasure wallet as of now in future as i told you they are working to update the app and in the update i think they would add all the erc20 tokens uh in in the uh, new treasure suit app but as of now to store the coins this is the process it was super easy you don't need to do anything all you need to do just copy your ethereum address and go to the exchange from where you would like to send the erc20 tokens and make sure you select erc20 networks this is the process now as you can see when i will click on ethereum and we'll go to tokens i can see my shiba inu coins here you can see i have received the coins for all the erc20 tokens this is the process you need to follow to receive the coins i hope this video would have helped you and by following the instructions given in this video you can store erc20 tokens in your hardware wallet also in some videos you would have seen that to uh, to store the token first you need to add the token and their network address you need to paste here you don't need to do that things all you need to do i showed you live how to store erc20 tokens yes some exchanges may ask you to enter the network in that case you can simply click here and add tokens and in that case if any exchange uh, asking you to add the network in that case you need to go to ether scan here you need to go to ether scan and let's say in this case we have stored shiba inu whatever coin you would like to store you need to search here shiba inu here you can see this is shiba inu so to add the network you need to copy the contract address this is the contract address you need to copy and all you need to do just paste and add that token here the token is already added because you don't need to do that just in case you need to do that i am showing the showing you the process okay i think this video would have helped you if it helped you please like it share it and also subscribe to this channel thank you very much for watching this video